my career uh, and move on to bigger and better things because it's kind of been a monkey on my back since I since I turned pro and, and the fact that it's gone now. No, now I can really focus on on big fights and big things, but I'm not focusing on anything yet except for. Yeah. Champ, we saw how in the first round you were you were using your feet, you were boxing smart, but then so in the middle of the fight you decided to bite down and just bang on the inside. What made you decide to, to switch it up like that? Yeah, I, I knew that you know if I, if I needed to go in inside and, and, and fight him on the inside, I, I'm actually a lot better at inside fighting than him because he throws a lot of weight shots and you know, leaves his head there at times, but. So, uh, it was just something I wanted to do, just to show him and let him know, and I think I did. I, I know I heard him an awful lot. He, he was actually very hard to hit the body at him because of the way he was leaning over forward, so it, it felt like I was reaching, so I just kind of went back to picking shots off of it. Michael, what's next for you? Um, how do you like fighting at Madison Square Garden? Yeah, listen, I love taking lots of garden and uh, I'm very, very grateful to box here. It's it's the world's greatest arena and they've got the world's greatest people working here. Um, well, I, I'm looked after very, very well. Every time I come here, they treat me like a king and, and you know, I, I couldn't be more grateful than Alexis like, Sal, Joel, Gary, Joanne, Bell, every, everybody here, Darren, you know, they, they all treat me really well, so you know, I'm very, very grateful. And uh, what's next for me is what I, I, I'm, I'm going to watch Mariah Carey tomorrow night, I'm not thinking about it. That's, that's what's next for me. I'm not thinking about Nick's fates or who I want to fade. What for me is enjoy Christmas from my family and have a rest. How do you rate your performance tonight? Yeah, I could have been a lot better. Um, you know, I maybe could have got the stoppage. I, 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 do, I do believe I could have got the stoppage, but you know, it was, it was big pressure going into the fate, but I'm glad I got the knee on my back. Thank you, Mick. No? Yes, sir. Thank you, everybody, for coming here. Right. Hey, welcome to the family. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, sensational knock, knockdown as well as knockout. Can you walk us, you know, walk us to like, you know, how you walk into the right hand? Um, I think we both saw it, you know, so if you can see it. I didn't see the replay. I don't know how it went, but um, I just, uh, there was a lot of shots that I saw that were open. I was just, I had to close the gap with him. And, you know, with Jacome, he has a lot of experience, so he was trying to keep me away from him. And, uh, but I started working the jab a lot. You know, he threw his jab, he threw his right, and I knew I had to move my head more. Uh, move his hand, move the jab, block the jab, and uh, came with an over right, and just clipped him at the right time. Yeah. Did you see the opening from like the initial first round? Because he came yeah, out, yeah, yeah, I saw, you know, I he saw, came out throwing a lot of jabs and things yeah, like that. Yeah, I saw that. it though, you know, um, Richard Comey is known for, you know, they say that he, he's a slow starter, but he comes out there, you know, he's gonna put a, he's gonna put on the show, he's gonna come forward, and, and that's what he did, you know? Um, but I saw it. I, I, that's what it was. I saw it in him that um, first, you know, I'm too fast. But uh, on top of that, you know, I, I think it was just honestly uh, those last shots that I saw that I was gonna, I was gonna eventually pick up on. Did you expect to get him out that fast? Um, 
everything happens, man. I, I think uh, I, I felt that I was gonna hit him with a hard one, and that was the one. And uh, obviously his reaction was that, you know. And then we just had to finish it off, man. I can't with a guy like that. You can't um, let him breathe. You gotta finish him the moment you get the chance to. But you gotta be smart doing it. He didn't throw. He was real hurt at the end, and I just could. I kept taking advantage of it because I know how Richie Comey is. When he gets hurt, he'll come and he'll throw his shots, and those shots. They'll hurt you. Hit me with a jab. Look what happened. I mean, like, it's a tough thing. Congratulations, Tim, on your championship. Uh, Thank you. Can you talk about the importance and what it means to you to become the, the first world champion of Honduran descent? I think most importantly is just being a champion. I mean, everybody, you guys all kind of kind of know with Mark Krieg and everything put out with ESPN, my whole life kind of thing. Um, you know, it's tough. You know, my father and everything always pushing on that. I think that uh, for once in my life, um, not only am I happy about the accomplishments I've come through and, and the fact that I put on hope for everybody, uh, I just, for once in my life, I am actually proud of myself for the way everything turned out. And that's been a long time, 22 years to say that. 22 years. And it's not even about winning the world title, it's just the fact, like this is bigger than me, but it's just the fact that of um, how hard shit could be, man. Congratulations on your fight, right? Congratulations. Um, I think a lot of people thought you were going to win the fight. A lot of people thought it was going to be really close. Like, did you kind of, I want to say, impress yourself with what you were able to do to them? Nah, I know what I could do. Uh, you guys haven't seen anything yet. I'm kind of mad at my barber. Well, barber that did my hair. I ain't want my hair short, man. I'm be real with y'all. Hey, listen. I ain't like that. <laughs> you know, I was this close. Since he messed it up, I'm just going to go straight bald. Hey, he's gonna go cut up. But anyways, I mean, like, um, I just want to go out there and show. I mean, people, a lot of, a lot of, obviously you're gonna have people with negative and everything. Like I said, um, a lot of people think that I, I'm weak because I married my wife or I'm in love. But um, there's two different types of person, people that I'm, I'm, I am when I'm in there. You know, I'm a, I'm a whole different type of beast when I'm in that ring. I go out there, I gotta get the job done, and I do well about doing it. And then I'm just another person, man. The fact that I get to actually have and enjoy my life, that's the best part about it all. Um, I think a lot of people disagree. I think a lot of people look at you as a, a real tough guy. Um, but tonight, you were a little emotional in there. Did it have anything to do with you winning the world title in New York City on time? Nah, it's just relief, man. I get to actually prove to myself, to everybody, that um, um, be real with y'all, y'all can bleep it. I'm gonna give you a heads up, but fuck everybody. That was my moment right there. Pretty much, it's just all the negative and shit. I was just putting my thumbs up, my fingers up, and just pretty much giving it out there that um, it was my moment, this is my time. And I knew that God didn't, God doesn't make mistakes. I knew it was my moment, this is my time. And everything planned out the way it did. Tio, congrats, Jeff. Uh, you're definitely a very strategic personality. Can you talk about last year? You broke out the Kyle Murray, you the Heisman. This year, round two to knock out. Break out the Joe Burrow. Talk about back-to-back -back years with Heisman jerseys. Uh, me and Carl, actually, we talked about this, and he gave me that idea uh, last year when I fought Mason Bernard, and that was a uh, that was that moment, and we made it on Sports Center. We had uh, we had uh, you know we we had LeBron James like the picture and everything. So this year, um, I don't even know how things are going right now at the moment, but I know that. It's going up. Yeah, I mean, but hey, man, this is uh, it's blessings. I think honestly, you gotta find something to entertain the fans. It's not just about knockouts and and just having your hand raised. I think it's more than that as a in this generation. Great performance, champ. Uh, great that you got the victory tonight. So, is it official? Will we get the Lomachenko fight? I think uh, you know, honestly, that's been in the works. Everybody's been talking about it, you know, and I think that's why a lot of people really wanted this fight to be the way it was, you know, Tio Fimo win by knockout or whatever it is, look impressive and say we can make a big fight like that happen. Um, I think you guys already know, the month, April 2020. Uh, all we gotta do now is just, you know, go back to the board, talk to uh, my manager, I have, talk to Top Rank, my father, and work the numbers and make the fight happen. Keith, what you got for problem? What? Okay. Uh, question for Terrence. Yo. Terrence, uh, um, how strong of a puncher was Kyle Velasquez in there? Uh, he was strong, you know, uh, strong of a puncher. You know, he had some pop in his uh, puncher. Uh, when he hit you in the, in the third I round. I was not hurt. I did not. 
fall from a punch. <laughs> I understand, but did, did that kind of energize, kind of make you go at him harder when you got hit with that shot? Well, as you see, soon as I got up, I stepped right to him. You know, uh, simple. It's the Janelle Henry show. Oh, shit. <laughs> Who gave him a mic? Starring Janelle Henry. Uh, uh, <laughs> first, I want to congratulate you both. Great performances. Good job. Good job. You pulled a lot of people off. Thank you. What is next, bro? What, what, what do you plan on doing next for 2020? Well, I'm going, I'm, I'm going to Costa Rica. I'm going to join with the wife, and then, you know, we'll figure it. We'll focus on 2020 afterwards, you know. Um, I'm just more excited about everything, man. I get to actually finally nine weeks of hard uh, training, finally get to get to enjoy it, enjoy that moment. All right, all right you know. <laughs> Terrence Crawford. <laughs> yeah, you had, we had a little scare in the second round. What was going through your mind when when when, the, when, the, when that crazy overhand right just happened, just happened, just to nip you? What was going through your mind, bro? Oh, he hit me. Then he come with a hook and some more shots, and I ducked, and, you know, he kind of shoved me down. And I was like, all right, let me get up and stuff. And like a true champion, that's what he did, folks. Like a true champion. He put his guard up, he walked forward, he pressed him down. All right, all right, last question. What are your plans, or what is your, what is your, what is, what is your goals for 2020? My goal is to get all these fighters that everybody said are running for us inside the ring. I know that's right. Tell them this year. Thank you, yes. big time, brother. Love you, bud. God bless you. God bless you, too. Thank you. Carl, Thank you for having uh, us. And uh, somebody tell Carl Frampton, I am coming. Ooh, 2020. ASAP. <laughs> yes, sir. Good groceries. Good groceries. Good groceries. Good groceries. What kind of statement tonight and how did you switch off to change the fight? When I show that, I know I can fight without just boxing. You know, I can take a punch. Sure. I walk a lot of his shots today and I made it a fight as well you know when he was trying to box how important is it to be continue keeping undefeated in order to keep building the best legacy you can build well it's very important but I need those meaningful fights you know uh, the fights that everybody wants to see and that's when I uh, <clears throat> Help my legacy along the way. I, I got a bright, you know, future in the sport of boxing, and as well as you know, I've accomplished a lot already in the sport of boxing. So, the sky's the limit from here. What did you learn tonight about yourself and about your opponent? I really didn't learn too much, nothing about myself that I already knew. Uh, about my opponent, he was tough. Like I said, all week, you know, I knew he was going to be tough, he was going to be durable. You know, he never been stopped before, he never been dropped as an amateur or a pro. I was the first person to do that, and we knew that coming into the fight. If there's any more questions for Tiafimo Lopez, please do it now, because he's going to get his vacation started like sooner or later. Tiafimo. I have some emotion. congratulations. Thank you. Uh, under the condition that the Lomachenko fight doesn't materialize, what would you like to do moving forward? I'll let my team figure it out and go from there. I think, uh, I don't know what the future holds, man. I'm just trying to make bigger and better fights, that's all. You know, uh, I take a challenge every time. I took a challenge with Richard Kome. I did what I did and showed everybody the proof to myself that I know I am the best. And come 2020, that's the same thing, same move. Uh, same thing that we all the young up and coming fighters are doing, man. It's a new generation that's coming up and we're taking over. Tio Fimo, congratulations, man. I know it's been a long journey for you. We got a question for both Terrence and yourself. Um, you're coming with a guy that you've seen to respect all week, and I just want to know like, if you could share something like what you told him after the fight. Uh, I told him that he's a champion regardless. He doesn't need a belt to declare that. You know, he's a champion for his country, Ghana, and that's a huge movement. I think that's the most inspirational thing ever. He was down and sad the whole time. Went back to the locker room and I put a smile on his face, man. 
Because it's the truth. Uh, belts don't make us, we make the belts. And Terrence, um, I, I don't want to ask you about future opponents because I know you want to fight everybody. But um, Bob Arnold said something to us that intrigued me a couple days ago. He said it was his dream to give you a fight in Africa. And um, I thought, I was like, wow, that would be special in the story. Is that something that you've been thinking about and talking about for a while? I don't even know nothing about that. I'm going to call my Who my A? Call first. Who my A? Call first. Who my A? Call first. Anything else for the guys? Keith? Uh, Terrence, when Bob came down from the ring, he was saying that um, that he would obviously like to see you fight Sean Porter, but he said that it was up to you guys, obviously, if that fight would happen. Yeah, that's not going to be Bob Arum. Or PBC, Al Heyman, that's not going to be up for him. That's going to be up to us if we want to agree to fight, you know. And right now, you know, we haven't had a discussion on whether or not will we fight or not, me and Sean. So, right now, you know, I'm not even thinking about that fight. I'm not worried about that fight. That fight is not even in my head right now, you know. But all those other guys, you know, they know what it is. This is gonna be expensive, man. I be cheap with it. What? Christmas gifts. I don't, I don't even celebrate Christmas no more. My kids get Christmas all year long. Undisputed again at 147. Errol Spence, he's injured right now. The only person that got the belt is Pacquiao. Have you seen Pacquiao fighting 2020? Dumbass. Can I answer? Everybody asking us for. You know what to do. You know anything about boxing? You know, I don't know if we can get Pacquiao in the same state as Tim Crawford, but he's in the same ring. Uh, only ask questions if you're given the microphone next time. Thank you. Uh, who's next? Me. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Let me answer. No. No, 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 no. Next question. Anybody got another question? Yeah. We about to go. Please. I'm with you. Cheers, Nemo. Uh, right here. Congratulations. Um, you, uh... You got Loma coming up. That's what everybody wants to see. Um, if that goes the way that you and your camp want it to go, do you dream of being an undisputed champion in, in the lightweight division, or do you have dreams of uh, potentially uh, going to 140? In a perfect world, what does that look like, and who do you respect the most at 140 pounds right now? Um, when y'all tell me about respect, I don't respect. Respect nobody, man. But it's just, that's just me. You know, that's a fighter. I think in all respect. Listening. Don't respect me. You ain't one forty. Yo, that's, yeah, what, that's what he said. I'm moving now. I'm moving now. Um, but I think it has a good tone, uh, ring tone to it, man. Twenty two undisputed world champion. That sounds real nice, man. So uh, something that Crawford did at one forty. I mean, we all got that, man. It ain't easy. I say that, but that's possible. Those are things that we strive to be, man. Great. And I know Crawford is on that road. He's already on that path of being great, as it is. You got your boy Stevenson right here saying now. You got Jamal. Where's the Jamal Herring show right here somewhere? There it is. We all trying to be great. That's what it is. I think at the end of the day, we just trying to put our, our stamp in this world and then just, you know, when we hang up the gloves, yeah, we satisfied at least to that point. 47. Where's, where's Jose? <laughs> Time ring racked up, man. Hey, y'all. Just to let y'all know, I'll be scoring 2K and uh, 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 kill them. Y'all remember the last time he said he killed them. He's going to tell y'all a different story, but he's lying. Him and the dude next to him, I'll be killing them. Right here, guys. So question for Teofimo Lopez. You know, Devin Haney um, tweeted today that he plans to be two-time world champion coming next year. If the fight with Lomachenko, for whatever reason, doesn't get made, will you guys, you know, top rank? I should propose a question to call. Will they top put rank? him on recess. WBC. Yeah, he's, he had uh, a... <laughs> <laughs> we gonna put you on timeout. Give him some recess. You know, all the best wishes to him to get in a healthy recovery. Yeah. But 
you know, from top right perspective, we want to try and make a little fight for the rainbow. And everybody else can watch it because those will be the two best lightweights in the world. And everybody after that can buy a ticket or buy it. That is the most like pettiest thing you want to be called right there. Reese's. <laughs> That's why I have Reese's. We're talking about Reese's. <laughs> wow. Any more questions from the media? Nope. Okay, thank no, you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, guys. Happy holidays.